Hey, hey everybody, this is Chin Twai, your happiness specialist, coming to you today with another video. Today's topic is, if it happened to you, it really happened for you. If it happened to you, it really happened for you. That actually is a, a, uh, a quote I learned from Kim Coles. Uh, so today, this is actually a survival guide of how to overcome adversity, especially an adversity that we created. Okay, uh, most of you uh, don't know about this. I'm, I'm going to share with you a very personal story of mine. Hopefully, it, it, it inspires you somewhere along the way. Hopefully, you find something that you can take away from it. And if it does that for you, you know, um, half my job is done. So, I'm going to uh, dive right into the topic. Um, sometimes, when you go through things, you know, when we go through stuff, you know, we're, we're looking at things as happening to us, right? Because we don't take the time to try and figure out why is it happening? Uh, what did I do to contribute to what's happening uh, to me? Or, you know, was this 100% my fault? Or was a part of it there, my doing? Uh, we just look at that situation as happening to us. Okay, at the end of this video, you're going to learn that what really happened to you or to us really happened for you, okay, or for us. And it, it's a new perspective that I gained years ago. Uh, most of you don't know this. Um, when I was still, you know, working as a, a police officer, right, um, <laughs> I, I used to butt heads, you know, I butted heads with you know, uh, supervisors uh, from time to time, you know, and part of that was really my ego. Um, you know, my background was always one of, hey, you got to defend your honor, you know, don't let anybody, you know, mistreat you. And because of that, you know, I would butt heads with, you know, supervisors. And granted, you know, uh, some of those people, you know, also had their own ego issues, right? So, you know, when two egos clash, you know, one usually wins, the other one loses. So there was a point where I came this close to actually, you know, uh, losing my job, you know, as a police officer, you know. And it, it wasn't, you know, I didn't do anything criminal or anything like that, but, you know, it was just, you know, I guess... In the military, we'll, we'll call it insubordin insubordination or, you know, whatever term you want to use. And I went from one, you know, location where I used to work to a different place that I had never heard of. And, you know, I'm just going, in the interest of time, I'm going to give you the synopsis of it. Because, you know, at the end of the whole thing, three things happened to me way I looked at it at the time. Uh, one, <laughs> I was put on what they call a dismissal probation for one year, right? And second one was I got a transfer. I got transferred to a place, a place, a precinct that I had never heard of, that I didn't know anything about. Thirdly, they also took 45 vacation days from me, 45 vacation days. Now, if you know anything about how you know, these things work. 45 days is a long time that you don't get to go on vacation. You know, if, if those, if you have something like that taken away from you, you know, you, you're left with, oh man, I got to work the whole year and change without going on vacation, sometimes even maybe two years. Um, but at the time, I was looking at it as, you know, all these things haven't happened to me. But... That was my ego speaking to me. And one of the benefits of having that, you know, um, time happen, you know, uh, to me, or as I look at it, as I look back on it right now, it really happened for me. You know, when I look back at it, what really happened was it gave me an, opp an opportunity for one, to make new friends, to learn a new area, and also to get more polished about my job at the time. 
right? So because this was a totally different uh, location and a busier place, more things were happening, more you know, police related things happened in that precinct. So at the time, uh, being, being that I was thrown into this brand new location, I had to relearn things. I had to relearn, you know, pretty much a lot of how the job worked. And also I had to relearn a totally different geographical location. You know, I, I dare say a bit challenging, but not impossible. You know, all you need to do is immerse yourself, you know, in your job and immerse yourself into learning, you know, whatever new things that you had to relearn. And the rest is really history. So it wasn't a, it wasn't all negative. Although at the time, you know, when it happened, I was looking at it as a negative. Okay. So at the end, I'm really great, grateful. I am happy that that at the time happened to me because in the end, I now look at it as having happened for me because it gave me a chance to, you know, become a better version of myself, you know, become a better person, become a better uh, person that, you know, can work, that can work better with other people. And not only that, it also gave me a new perspective in life. It, it taught me how to keep my ego in check. For one, because, you know, sometimes we get in trouble because of our ego, because of our pride, because of, you know, you know, always being defensive all the time, right? It gave me a chance to take a seat back, you know, take a seat, a seat back and really get a better hold of my emotions because sometimes we can, we can let our emotions get the best, best of us and get us in trouble. So one thing that you can learn from this video and from my short story is always keep your ego in check, right? Always keep your ego in check, otherwise it will get you in trouble. Two, always keep your emotions in check. <laughs> Number three, be humble, be humble, be humble, no matter what. Uh, because, you know, when I look back at, at the situation that occurred at the time, you know, I could have just, you know, looked at it as, hey, this is just another situation and not dig, you know, my heels in to defend my honor. Uh, because sometimes when you defend your honor, depending on the environment, you could get more in trouble than anything, you know, than actually defending your honor. So at the end of the day, at the time, I saw myself as having lost something. I mean, when you look at it, yes, you know, I was, you know, I was this close to losing my job because of, you know, within that year of what they call dismissal probation, I could have gotten fired for any reason, for any, you know, uh, minor reason. They could have come up with anything. But once I got into that new location, you know, I took the advice of the supervisor that pulled me to the side and he said, listen, you know, you have a new, a new slate to work with. You know, we don't care what happened before. Uh, we don't care, you know, what your uh, story in the past was. You have a chance to start anew. And that advice stuck with me because before I knew it, the one year was over. I didn't even, I didn't even feel it. You know, I didn't feel it. I made new friends. And I learned, you know, uh, I was able to learn more about the job. And at the same time, you know, the, the following year, not too long after the year, I was able to go on vacation. All right. So what's the moral of this story? The moral of the story is that don't look at everything or anything at all that happens to you as happening to you because it's really happening for you because you will always learn something from that event, if you want to. Because sometimes um, they say, fool me, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. So always look at anything that happens to you in life as really happening for you, because everything that we go through in life is really a lesson. 
Okay, everything is a lesson in life. No matter how bad, no matter how cruel, no matter how challenging, no matter how disappointing that event may be. All right, so don't look at anything that happened you know, happens to you as happening, really happening to you because it's really happening for you because it's teaching you something. You know, one of the things that helped me get over that particular incident, that particular uh, time in my life was belief and trust in God because I knew there was a higher power, someone that was steering me, you know, someone that was leading me in a better direction to learn how to control my emotions, to learn how to keep my ego in check. All right, so that's my video for you today and hopefully you learned something from it. Hopefully, you know, it resonated with you because I know in times in life, we all go through something, you know, every day, somewhere, 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 I guarantee you, even as I do this video, that somewhere, someplace is going through something, but don't let that thing that you're going through take a hold of you. Don't let that thing that you're going through, you know, become your life. You know, let it be a teaching moment, all right, because it's really happening for you and not to you. All right, so I appreciate you watching. If you get some value from this video, uh, follow my channel, all right? Uh, that red button right there that says subscribe, subscribe to my channel. So uh, there's also a little bell there. When you touch that bell, it's a notification. Um, it will let you know that I did a video or I posted a new video and you can come check it out. Maybe you'll learn something, maybe not. And if you do learn something, every time you see one of my videos, especially this one, feel free to share it or comment, and I would really appreciate your feedback. All right, also, below the description of this video, I'm gonna put a link in there. I want you to check out the link. It is a, a tool, a blueprint that has helped me in my pursuit of, you know, independence, you know, when it comes to home business and affiliate marketing, all right? You'll find it interesting. All right, so I appreciate you watching. Until the next video, this is Chintwa, your happiness specialist. And I'm going to end with this. Remember that everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. So be kind always. And as always, always be loving, be loved. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye for now.